Psychic Bob. Well, welcome to Thursday. It's Vlog Thursday. So let's go out on the town and see what there is to see. You know Psychic Bob loves to go dumpster diving. So we're going to see if there are any good things. You know, people are always moving and putting out amazing stuff. So as I'm looking over here, oh, I see some furniture today. Let's see what they got. Oh, look at this. A nice bookshelf. What? Oh, it's done in splat. Oh, I kind of like that. A little cleanup. That might be nice for Psychic Bob's house. Oh, look, here's a chair, but the cushions are gone. And it's rather worn. Here's another chair. Yeah, these chairs didn't last. Old table, but it's all rickety. Nah, I don't think that's going to work. Put some china plates. You never know what brands they could be. I don't think this is anything valuable, but if you like plates, that might be something. Oh, anybody want some tires? You can get tires here. It's a mattress, that looks like half gone. Well, I don't see anything today, but it's always fun to look. Well, I tell you, it's a great day out here, but it's warm. Last night we had a little fog. I think they're calling for more fog. Our sun lord would be up there, but I don't see him. I think, I think the sun lord's on vacation today. But it's still warm, so that's a good thing. Spring is definitely arriving here in Washington, D.C. You can see how green the grass is getting. That's right. <laughs> I didn't bring my umbrella. I don't think they're calling for rain, but it feels like it's going to rain or what has rained a little bit, but I'm going to take a risk and go without the umbrella. Yeah, you can see the first signs of spring already emerging here. Look on this branch. There are little buds coming out already. Aren't they precious? Look at that. Seeing this tree will be... <sighs> I love springtime. The air is so gentle today. Well, I tell you, I've had a busy morning. Been answering emails. A lot of you have been writing, asking questions about my Psyche Development class. And uh, thank you for your, your inquiries on that. Uh, we are going to have Psychic Class this Saturday. So come and join us. We're going to work on how to deliver messages, how to receive messages from spirits and deliver them. So if you're interested in learning to connect with your spirit people and uh, see what they have to say, come and join us. You can register over at my website, psychebob.com. It's only $30. It's a two-hour class. And we're going to meet on um, we're going to meet on Saturday on Zoom. Now, don't worry; you don't have to know how to work Zoom, because what I'll do is once you register and pay for the class, um, I will send you a link on Saturday morning around 11:30 a.m. Eastern Time, and you just click on that and it'll bring you into the classroom. It's all automated; you don't have to know how to work Zoom. You don't have to have an account with Zoom. None of that. Okay, so. Don't let that intimidate you. Just come be part of our class. $30. Where are you going to get psychic training with me one-on-one? -on -one? I actually talk to you, to everybody in the class personally, as part of your training. So it's not like you're just going to be in some big group not knowing anything. I actually work with each of you. So um, I'd love to work with you. So come and join our class. Go to psychicbob.com. That link's below. And register today. Oh, I'm seeing more signs of spring. I think this is a pear tree here. Let's take a look at it. Look at this. Isn't this a lovely tree? We have the most beautiful trees. We have cherry trees, pear trees, dogwoods. We have a little bit of all. I think this is a pear tree here. Look at the little buds coming out. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. If you take the time to slow down and observe the world, you'll see signs of life everywhere. And like the tree is renewing, this also is a sign for our own lives that even when we go through the harsh winter and we feel everything's gone and there's no hope, life springs eternal. Isn't that beautiful? Bless you, tree. May you have a rich, prosperous year ahead of you. May you be fulfilled and blessed. So mote it be. Here this pentacle I lay for blessing and protection by night, by day. So mote it be. We should pray for the trees and bless them. They give life to all of us. Now, if you want to connect with the Fae and have some good luck on the way, look out for shamrocks. Look at these. These are beautiful, large shamrocks. I'm tempted to pluck them, but I don't want to. 
but that's a sign of blessing, a sign of life. It's a sign of the triple goddess. And so embrace the greenery at this time of year. Look at the little blue flowers. Aren't these lovely? I love it. Bless you, O Shamrocks. May we have the mind of the triple goddess and her blessing and your presence to bless us. So might it be. So might it be. Crossing Duke Street. All right, sounds like construction in the neighborhood. Oh, I see they got a ladder up there. Looks like they're fixing windows. That's the house that I think is so beautiful. I love that house and I love that house too. I think they're just beautiful. I love all the houses here, really. It's a lovely neighborhood. You know, guys, isn't it amazing how the spirit world works? As I was standing there talking about that house that I showed you that I love, the owner walked right up to me. Uh, she was walking down the street and she said, excuse me, are you filming my house? I said, yes. She was such a nice lady. And I told her, I said, I've been walking by your house for years and I love it. She's like, thank you. So we were talking. She was telling me about some of the construction work. Really nice lady. Everybody in this neighborhood is always so nice. I have the best time here. But anyways, isn't that cool? Like, I always wondered who lived in that house and I ended up getting to meet the owner today. And that's really cool. So... Anyways, we're going to go have some lunch now, and uh, come on along. One of the other cool things they do over in this neighborhood is they have a free library. They have this little beautiful, like, kind of a casing here, and it says, Little Free Library. It's a nonprofit, and they promote reading. It says, Take a book, share a book. So you can come here, get free books, and, it's, you know, and you're done with it. You return it or get a, bring a new book to contribute. I think that's a lovely, lovely idea. And um, anyways, yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, we're gonna go over here today and have some lunch. I've been having a taste for Indochin today. So why don't you guys come on along and let's go have some lunch. Well, here we are. Coming up on Indochin, looks like the door is open, the tables are set out. I think it's a good sign. I think Sega Bob's gonna have a good lunch today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yum! Oh, we got put on our mask. It's the law in Virginia nowadays. We're gonna go on in to Indochin. This is beautiful. I love the way they've done this restaurant. Here we are, Indochin. They still have the private dining room. Look at this, they've redone this. Very elegant. I might have a party here. It'd be a cool place to come and hold a seance. Here I am at my reserved booth. I called them to make sure they're open. They said, we'll reserve your table for you, sir. And here we are. And I got my special lunch menu. Oh, I gotta figure out what I want. Everything, everything here is amazing. Oh, Tubi's my lunch arrived. I forgot to film it. I was so excited. I've halfway eaten it, but I've got <clears throat> chicken chow mein. This is delicious mixed vegetables, noodles, and chicken. Oh, it's so delish. And I got me a nice cool iced tea, some water. Mm, I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, gosh, that food is so good, but I gotta take a little break. <laughs> I'm just inhaling it. Anyways, I got my good book here I'm reading. Some of you have been following me, you know about this. The Outsiders by S.E. Hidden. It's a classic coming-of-age story set in the 1960s, and it's about teenagers coming of age and, you know, all the stuff that you go through. Class, social welfare, warfare, violence. At the time, this book was consider really controversial because deals with things like alcoholic parents and gang violence and stuff in the 60s you just couldn't talk about. In fact, today, even today, this book is still banned in some school districts. But ironically, in other school districts, it's considered part of the curriculum for English. So 
I think it's a great book. It's one of my faves. And I read it back in the 1980s, like 1980, probably around 1984, I guess, 1985, somewhere around there. I'm rereading it now, and I tell you, the thing that's so interesting is that I really related to the characters and their dramas, and but as an adult, as an older adult, I look and I think, some of the characters thinking, the way they think, I would do things differently today. But it's just kind of interesting how your perspective changes with time. Recommend it. The Outsiders. S.C. E. Hinton. Get it. Ah, uh, Tubies, that was a great lunch, and now we're going to head out into the world. I was right. I had a feeling it would not rain today. I didn't bring my umbrella, and I'm glad I didn't because it's, it's getting a little drier out here. So, no rain, and we're doing good. Had a good lunch. I think we'll go up here and check out the Moon Temple. Come on along. You know, I think it's great to get out and walk after lunch. You know, having a little a little walk is good. It kind of balances the energy, aids with digestion. Now we're gonna go up here and see the moon temple. Hopefully it's hopefully we can get up to it today. Tubies, look at their wonderful Easter decorations at this house here. Look, they got a little egg and a carrot, a rabbit. Oh my gosh, look at the little rabbits back here. Look at their beautiful flowers. This is lovely. I just love, I love when people decorate. Oh my gosh, they continued over here. Look, happy Easter. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. They got a giant carrot here. Isn't that wonderful? I love that. Oh, look at their frogs and bunnies. <gasps> and the little chicks. Oh, look at that little chickadee. Is that adorable or what? Oh my gosh, look, there's a frog. Oh, there's a blue bunny eating a carrot. That is so cool. Back there's their giant blow up carrot with the bunnies. <laughs> I love that. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I just love that. Well, here we are. We're getting close to the moon temple. There it is up ahead. And we'll go up here and pay our reverences to the gods. And here we are at the mystical moon temple. Look at that, guys. Shall we go up here and take a closer look? Here we are. It's so beautiful, this temple. I like to come here and connect to the ancient gods. This way faces east, and so we can invoke the rising sun and moon. And around this way, it faces west. We can invoke the setting sun and moon. Inside here, we've got a beautiful domed roof. It's done in a perfect circle, so you can have a magic circle here. Isn't that wonderful? That's right. The mystic moon temple. I dedicated this temple to the ancient moon goddess Isis as Our Lady of the Silver Moon. I come here all the time, not a soul bothers me. When it gets a little warmer, we'll come have a ritual here. By the way, surrounding the little island that this temple sits on, it's covered with cherry trees. Are these beautiful or what? Look at these. Beautiful cherry trees all the way around, and now they're starting to bloom. I'm crazy about cherry trees. You know, in Washington, D.C., we have a tradition of cherry trees because many years ago uh, Japan gifted us with cherry trees down at the um, tidal basin at the Jefferson Memorial. If you ever come to DC you have to come see those trees. They're ancient cherry trees. We always think of them as little delicate trees like this one but when they get really old they get as big as oak trees and the ones down by the tidal basin in DC are really massive but these are beautiful little delicate cherry trees. Let's take a look at their blossom. Can you see the blossoms here? Just soft as a dove's feather. Oh, these are really wet. They have a lot of moisture from this morning's rain. But they're soaking it in and enjoying it. <laughs> Hail the cherry trees. I wonder if there's a Shinto goddess of cherry trees. I bet there is. There's our moon temple, silent and still standing in honor of the Ancient Ones. 
Hail to the great goddess. Hail to the great god. Hail to the mystic ones who invigorate us and bless our lives. Samorupi. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> well, guys, listen, I'm going to wrap this up. I've got a really full day. Uh, thank you to all of you who are calling for private readings. If you want to get on my schedule for a, for a private session, you can call my office, 703-825-3929, or also just visit my website, and you can register over there uh, at psychicbob.com. Listen, make sure to help me out, please. Like this video, favorite it, thumbs up, share it with your friends, and tell them about the work we do here at Spirit Show. Invite them to subscribe. We'd love to have you guys here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Show. We got more coming. Tomorrow is Friday, free for all Friday. Not sure what we're going to do, but we'll have something fun. So just be here. You guys are the best. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, may all of you always blessed be.